Hey there, I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at stockmarketmentor com, and uh, I just finished actually um, recording our strategy session, uh, which I always do uh, on the on the weekdays basically. Um, so, and I was covering all of the stocks that we have on our active trade list, where I give, um, as a lot of you guys know. Um, suggested entries, stop levels, um, exits, things like that. And we have, I kind of lost this count. I'm going to, yeah, I had to stop the video. We got 16 stocks and only three of them are down. And the worst performer is down 3.12%. Um, so this is a, the stocks that we're in are pretty, in my view, they're the right ones to be in, generally speaking. Some better than others, but better is a lot better than bad. So I'm looking at Apple because, in fact, I just saw a little while ago an article popped up. I don't know if it was on uh, Yahoo, which actually, they post great clickbait articles. You read the article and go, this really doesn't have much to do with what you said it was about. Um, but there's a lot of that going around these days. Uh, it's like what's in the article is less than important, uh, less important than how many people click on it. Uh, so you can tell your advertisers about it. So it's saying like, hey, you know, this uh, the sell off of Apple is overblown. China, not that big a deal. And maybe that's true. I don't know. I all of those people speak a different language. I don't speak their language. It's a hard language. So obviously they're really smart. Um, but the, what I do see is this, on just a technical basis, this thing got crushed below the 50. It came back up and ran through the 50. And I think a lot of bulls said, whoo, that, that was tough, tough to hang on to that. And it held for four days. One, and then kind of like, well, we don't know. And then higher, well, we don't know. Oh, we definitely know. And then the following day, um, the thing closes how much? <clears throat> a lot. Thing closed 3.7% down, which is actually a big drop for a stock um, like Apple. So this was not a good look for Apple at all. Now it's rebounded, which is totally normal. You can... I mean, we talked about this in the forum yesterday about how this sell-off was probably going to give us some kind of a rebound. I think it was NVIDIA that did that as well. Uh, yeah, a little rebound off of here. Um, you get these big, severe sell-offs of good quality stocks, and you will have buyers coming in to snag the stock like, oh, this is my chance to get the stock. But what I'm telling you is this, you got to watch this 50-day moving average right here because Apple um, releases their next iPhone on Tuesday. And if this, if the i look, I think it's going to feature probably you get a couple new colors, which will be awesome for people who really give a rip about what the color of their iPhone is. I have a, I drop my phone a lot. So I have to have a really solid case on it. I don't even remember what my color is. It doesn't matter to me. Um, but some people dig that kind of stuff. And it probably has a couple other features on it that, that seem really cool, but that you'll never use because they're improvements over uh, features that you also didn't use. But if the market just goes nuts and loves it and pushes the stock up here, well, that's good. I've actually seen... I've actually seen this pattern before. It happens. Big sell-off, little zigzag here, back up above the 50. Down here, oh, that's a bad thing. And then, is it going to stop there? Nope, it just keeps on going. So this was kind of a like a slingshot pattern. You know, stretch it, come back up here. Stretch it again, come back up here, boom. And it keeps going. Do I think that's going to happen? First of all, I don't know. But second of all, I don't think it's going to happen because seasonally we're just not in that period where buyers are going to come in to a, a stock like Apple, which has done so well. I've, uh, I've um, described this. I talked about it on Fox uh, Business the other day, tongue-in-cheek. 
that this is like Tom Brady. Tom Brady's the GOAT. Awesome, you know, best quarterback ever. I know there's arguments against that, but I'll take that. Um, best quarterback ever. But I wouldn't burn a first round, round draft pick on him. And by the way, all the money that you have is the equivalent of a first round pick. You can pick anybody you want, 6,000 stocks. And so I wouldn't burn a first round draft pick on Tom Brady just because he's done so well over the past 20 some years that he has played because I'm looking forward. And so what I'm saying is with this, the blooms kind of come off the rose here. Um, and if the stock rallies up a bit, again, watch the 50 because if this stock even if it runs up above the 50 if it cannot hold that level in my view this is a really good short entry so that's the long and the short of apple we'll see what happens i'll probably be watching the release of the iphone on my iphone which i don't plan on replacing